So here we're going to take a look at uh, applying some three-stroke rough ideas to the, to the kit. Let's just take a look at the, the, the stick in itself. We're here, instead of using the uh, right, left, left, right, left, left, right sort of uh, uh, sticking, we're going to play them hand to hand. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Whilst uh, when I'm playing that, I'm really using uh, almost a, uh, an inverted double stroke roll uh, sort of uh, motion, almost like this. So finally, it comes out almost, I'm almost just feeling those accents that are in there as opposed to all three notes. The next thing we're going to do is take that idea onto the, uh, uh, onto the kit. So uh, first, what we're going to do is uh, try and find some ways of moving that around the kit. So let's first go floor tom to snare drum. So what I'm going to do to do that is play the first right on the floor tom and then left, right, left on the snare. And uh, it looks something like this. What you'll find here is that there are certain movements that are easy and, and fluid around the kit and other things that um, are really problematic where the sticks want to, uh, are just going to collide with each other. For example, if you tried, instead of going floor tom snare drum, try to go snare to floor, you'll end up bumping into yourself. And you won't be able to get it uh, uh, you know, as quick as the other way. So um, here are some different uh, movements around the kit that you can try. That's the basic um, uh, stick and apply to the kit. Uh, we could uh, uh, use that as a, as a fill idea in, in that, uh, uh, in the way we just played it there. Uh, an alternative approach to it would be to play it um, uh, through triplets. So now, uh, 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 here's, the, here's the pulse being played here, and you'll hear the, the rust now moving uh, through triplets. And let's apply some of those movements that we looked at as well through the triplets. One, two. All right, the next thing we can try is we're going to change the order of the notes and start to incorporate the bass drum. So uh, what we're going to do is let's go back to uh, thinking of um, as though we're playing through a, a 16th note rate. We're going to play the bass drum on quarter notes. And then the hands, uh, three straight roughs, are going to fill in the E and uh, of each beat. So we get one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, played with using the roughs. It looks something like this. Three, four. So you see, I'm still keeping the, the same emphasis 
uh, that we had when we played it accent in the downbeat. Only now the accent is falling on the fourth sixteenth note of each beat. One E and er to E and er. And so now we can get a continuous uh, stream of notes and uh, it has a nice effect because we've got the, the weight of the downbeat from the bass drum but we've got this upbeat uh, accent coming from, from the roughs uh, which can be quite effective. So here's that a little quicker between the bass drum and snare drum. A one, two, three, four. Uh, uh, let's now try moving that uh, combination around the kit. We can do the same thing with that as we just did when we played the roughs through eighth note triplets. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the bass drum playing the quarter note triplet and we're going to fill in those uh, 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 between the bass drum using those three stroke roughs. So let's get the feet started, quarter notes here, quarter note triplets on the bass drum and we're going to fill in those uh, the spaces between the bass drum with right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, etc. So here we go. Three, four. So some uh, interesting possibilities just to have that simple combination of right, left, right, left, right, left, right.